If you thought you were having a bad day, imagine being this guy on national television. Check this out. <laughs> oh no, what a li- Oh man, I can't believe this. Embarrassing. Can you imagine? Can you imagine having that be your team that you have to root for each week? Oh, it's so bad. I'm so... You know what? I feel bad for him. I do. I do. I really feel bad for him. Oh. Happy Thursday. Welcome to his education and welcome to another episode of Try Not to Laugh. You thought you had it bad, folks. You got people living in California and you got people rooting for the Green Bay Packers. It could be worse. Okay, that's my point here. If you're ready for today's game, we're going to jump right into this one. So head down and like this video. And if you're new here, please make sure you are subscribed and have the bell clicked for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Now on to today's game. Try not to laugh, go. Remember when Amber Heard did blow on the witness stand? Good times. Is it? No, um, she did not. Mental okay. condition. Dude, it, what? It's still here, say, Your Honor. How do I not remember this? May we approach you? How do I not remember that happening? Dude, she, to- she wasn't blowing her nose right there. What the hell? I did watch a documentary series about this, and yeah, she was pretty bad up there. Pretty bad. Really, really unlikable person. Okay, people that don't believe in climate change, riddle me this. Why are there no more rainforest cafes? <laughs> she has a good point. She has a good point. Uh, you know, climate change got rid of all the rainforest cafes. There used to be a huge one in the Mall of America. Maybe it's still there. It might be one of the, the few last standing ones. I remember going there for the first time as a kid and just mind blown, you know, when the wrong human comes home. Oh, hey, coming in. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> nope, not you. Screw you. <laughs> Are you that human at home? That's me. That's me. Here's something I didn't know until I was in my 30s. Uh, if you let your pizza cool down before you eat it, you won't burn your <laughs> mouth off. <laughs> yeah, but if you're really hungry, you don't let it cool down. If you do it enough, which everyone eats pizza, what, two, three times a week, right? That's just a normal thing in America. Your, your mouth builds calluses. That's what they call it. And you can withstand higher and higher degrees of temperature. Everyone knows that. So don't do this. Just just eat it. When you're hungry, just eat it. If it's hot, you'll you'll get over it. Watch till the end. Oh, oh my god! He's got quite the lead there. If he loses this, that's uh the only way he loses this if he's is if he falls here. Go, go! Oh, maybe not. Oh no! no. Oh no! Oh, Oh, hey, you took second to last? <laughs> Those are terrible friends. Those are not your friends, man. <laughs> I'll get him next time, champ. I was reading this in the Chicago Tribune yesterday, and it's too good not to share. Dear Amy, four months before my daughter's wedding, she told me that her uncle, my brother Dave, would make her feel unsafe if he was a guest. She asked me not to invite him. My daughter is very politically progressive, as are many of her friends. And although she and Dave have always had a good relationship, I thought, he's a conservative voter and has supported candidates we all abhor. Dave has always been very nice to my daughter, and and this request surprised me. I wrote Dave a very nice note telling him that we would not be comfortable with him at the wedding and that he would not be invited. Dave did not respond and did not attend. Afterward, I did send him a card and pictures from the wedding, all in an effort to make him feel like he was not being totally left out. I have not heard from Dave since then. When my siblings found out what I had done, they were angry with me. That's just one problem, you think? Another problem is that Dave has not sent my daughter and son-in-law a wedding gift. Oh, get out of here. In the past, Dave and his given family members wedding gifts in excess of $1,000. She says... Well, she, pause here. Pa- pa- pause. So you didn't invite them, didn't invite him to the wedding because he doesn't think like I do. 
He, off- he offends me because of the way he voted. But he didn't give us a gift. Shut the hell up. Moving on. When it's pumpkin spice season and you bring your girl regular coffee. <laughs> you son of a... <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> you son of a... Don't forget the pumpkin spice, boys. I love it. Point of view. You see your gate exists, so now you can go to the bathroom and eat. It, I do this as well. I think this is just a thing. It's not a bad idea, dude. Like, what if they change the gate on you? What, you know, you never know if they're going to do that or not. So getting there, checking in, just make sure, oh, yeah, yeah, they're still here. They're still coming back here in about a half hour, maybe two hours. Maybe you got there three hours early. How did I not know she was doing this? How did I not know? Uh, oh, oh, no, not the squeeze pack all over. My God, Lakin, uh, Joanne. Oh, no. Dude, this app, I've been here, man. You get you gain a little bit too much trust in your toddler. You're like, oh, you can drink from an open lid cup, and you know you don't need to have a sippy cup. Here's you go, <sighs> all over. You can have your little squeeze pack, and I, you know as soon as I give it to you and you look like you're gonna eat it, you just squeeze the heck out of it and it goes everywhere. Dad's out there. Don't don't be too trusting. It's deceiving, man. It's de- that they're, great example right there. What working Americans are like under Biden? Today you have. $244.27 worth of debt. <laughs> oh, you thought she was good. Now nah, go ahead and cook that. <laughs> Eat the ramen, folks. You know, this is what's uh, your ramen. They, they got to cash in when things aren't going too well economically. And they're not, you know, contrary to the mainstream narrative. Uh, ramen noodles have to be cashing in and these downtrends. And I think the prices of that is are even going up, you know? Those aren't even that cheap anymore. Undefeated. What's going on here? False start, dude. False start. You started standing up before the bell rang. You can see it. Let's do a replay there. Can we do a replay? Yep. Aha. Not, not undefeated. False start, brother. Get the little Jordan love in you. That's what happens, man. And stop doing this, please, everyone. My daughter, you can't be serious. Oh my God. What? Come on. On a, what? Do it again really quick. What? <laughs> is that where you think it really goes? It's throat spray. Where else am I supposed to spray it? Is this, is this fault? my fault? This what? is your fault. Did I, no. did I fail you? It's throat spray. Let, let me know if it works. It's throat spray. Anna. Did, did I fail you? <laughs> Tough realization there, man. You know, I wouldn't say you did. I think that could be public education. Lots of variables at play. Doesn't necessarily mean it's you, man. Wakes me up at 2.45 a.m. to go outside. Thought she had to go potty. Nope. This is what she wanted. You must be one of those non-air conditioning people, huh? Dogs had enough. Turn on the, put it down to 67, man. Come on. When you go to Hobby Lobby alone and the husband has to unload the car afterwards. Oh, (laughs) poor guy. Look at that. She's laughing about it, mom. It's caused her husband mental damage. Guy just got home from work. Look at that. He's been tarring <laughs> roads all day. Frickin' then he has to come home, unpack the Hobby Lobby trip. Mm. 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 Tough. Poor guy. Every man is either stupid, useless, creepy, or evil. In my defense, I am also out of shape and bad with money. Uh, this is a good reminder here, boys. Watch out for those landmines, i.e. this uh, crazy lady in the beginning. 
My kid leaving the house to go with grandma where there are no rules. <laughs> you know, I think our, our toddler, she's starting to find out that that is the case here. Going to grandma's is, is uh, fun, right? You could eat the sugar and you don't tell mom and dad about it, right? It is. Uh, parents, grandparents, can you confirm this? So we're potty training my toddler and every time she uses the potty, she gets to put a sticker on her chart uh, and I'm very proud of her. I'm absolutely crushing her in the numbers, so <laughs> those are actually all from this weekend, though, so I should probably see somebody. <laughs> Congrats, man. Uh, you got to teach him a lesson. You got to teach him a lesson. Uh, there's a lot of lessons right here, so that's good parenting 101 right there. Moving my couch didn't go to plan. Hell? Oh, jeez. Uh, hopefully uh -oh. the one was down there. Yeah, that reminds me, uh, I helped old tea times Bo move in. There was about a foot long gap, foot long little indent in the sheetrock there. We had to force it down. Had to do what we had to do, you know. Fantasy football is essentially an annual payment to be in a group chat with my friends. I came to the realization today that I'm so bad at fantasy football. It basically is just an annual fee to be in a group chat with my friends. And maybe in that fee, I can get like, a once a year Zoom call that we all get together. It's basically the only thing that fantasy football is good for. I would agree. I, I was, you know, whining about fantasy football last year. And I've, I've whittled my league down to, I mean, one league now. And then, well, two, technically. They're two different leagues. One guillotine, one regular fantasy. And I think I'm totally done next year. I, it's just, I, it, I don't like it. I'm done with it. It's, it's kind of stupid. It truly is. I know a lot of you are yelling at the screen right now, but I just, I don't know, it doesn't do it for me anymore. Terrible news today. Well, after three years of marriage and having a beautiful baby boy, my wife finally told me she wants a divorce today and that she just doesn't love me anymore. All I said was that you couldn't watch football all weekend long and that I didn't want you to look at your fantasy team leagues every five minutes. That's the same thing. <laughs> All right, back to the fantasy leagues. All right, so I'm still going to watch football all the time. I love football. And if you're on a fantasy team, you're not going to not check it. You're, you generally have it open in front of you as you're watching the game. So that's that's, that's pretty low. Let let them, you know what, if you want to join in, you want to be have your own fantasy team, come join the fun. You know, if that's what you want to do. It's amazing how many people think that 20 grand a month is a lot of money. I used to think that. Say it louder for the people in the back, brothers. Come on now. This is like top five moments of where the nail has been hit on the freaking head completely. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, freaking. I used to think that 20 grand was a lot, dude. How uh, arrogant, uh, detached. Like, you think people are gonna listen to your podcast and think, oh yeah, these guys are relatable. These guys know what they're doing. Stupid finance bros, dude. 20 grand is not a lot. Are you kidding me? Like the median income in America is like 35 grand a year. 20, get out of here, dude. Shut down your podcast, please. Who is your celebrity doppelganger? Use this filter and show me which celebrity you look. This is honestly so ignorant of you, but. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that's great. What's that guy's name? He's from uh, Little Rascals. Um, pretty close. I'm, I'm going back and forth here. Pretty close. You don't have the bangs like he does, but uh, hey, the glasses are pretty spot on. The smile's close. <laughs> I mean, the AI, they got your pin, man. Things invented after Diane Feinstein was born. If you close one eye and then squint the other one and, and rock back and forth, she doesn't look a day over 89. <laughs> Anne Feinstein is older than the San Francisco 49ers. The atomic bomb. The ballpoint pen. Yeah. She's five years older than the ability to photocopy. She's older than the creation of Spider-Man. Matter of fact, she's older than the creation of Marvel Comics as a whole by about <laughs> six years. So take every one of your favorite Marvel superheroes and she's older than all of them grouped together. <laughs> Stop. Smells like chocolate chip cookies. What? Really? Hold on a sec. Time out. 
That's when ch chocolate chip cookies didn't exist before that? What are you talking about? Like someone, it took that long into humanity to figure out how to combine all those ingredients? You're kidding me. Really put it into perspective, Dianne Feinstein's parents were doing the oh, yeah. before World War II even started. Oh yeah, she's older than the Harry Truman administration. And remember guys, these videos are not an endorsement of any party, not an endorsement of a political candidate, rather an endorsement of the idea that we need term limits. I'm Batman. Oh yeah, she's older than Superman too. Fantastic video. Uh, you know what? She she shouldn't be in Congress, period. That's just, that's the point here. Uh, term limits, dear God, please. This is out of control. There you go. I'm an idiot. I went to the store today to get a few things that my wife told me to on a list. I put the list in my pocket, went to the store, started getting all this stuff. I didn't realize until I was checking out what an idiot I really am. Here, let me show you. All right, so here's the list she wrote me. Yeah, number one, Valvita. Number two, chips. Number three, hamburger. Yeah, that's how I read it now. How I read it at the store is, I need one block of Valvita. So what did I get? One block of Valvita. Two chips. There's, there's your two chips. Yeah. All no, right. It's got to start not making hamburger. sense. Hamburger. Okay, one, that kind of makes sense. Three. Don't you? Get, get freeze that. Three. Y'all get the picture. Four waters. There's four waters. waters. Oh, it gets worse. Five things of sugar. Lot 20 of sugar pounds right of sugar. When the hell, like, dude, that's like. What was I even thinking? Two years worth of sugar. 20 pounds of sugar. Six pastas. You could, you know. There's six pasta. Not but bad. the kicker. She had to put it, save the best for last. Seven salt. Number seven is salt. Yeah, that's like five years worth of salt. What the hell? Just look, guys. All right. If Hocus Pocus is to come to our neighborhood this this Halloween, we're going to be covered. And uh, Supernatural, <laughs> if you're watching, if you need some salt, I got you. We got it. The moral of this story is, ladies, if you're going to write a list and number it, put a period. A period makes a big difference. Because us guys, we're just going to look at the list and grab the shit. Makes a good point. I mean, that something you, you should have said, wait a minute, hold on. Maybe I should confirm seven salts. What the hell are we making here? We're we preparing for winter. We're we using, you know, baking salt for the sidewalks now. Like, something should have not added up there. But I understand. I may have done the same thing. My brain might have done the exact same thing. So, boys, read those lists carefully, ma'am. Cheater. Frickin' shitter, dude. Look at this. Poser. That's what that is. You're a poser, man. I mean, you shouldn't even try the chopsticks. Why you, you know, that's a lot of rice there. What have you realized you like less and less the older you get? People. Yes. People. I think 90% of us probably said that before he even said it, so. It's true, man. I mean, after the last three years, people acting so irrational, uh, not inviting each other to each other's weddings because of the way you think or what you did or didn't do, uh, rela losing relationships over really stupid things, individual decisions. People suck, man. People are stupid. People are dumb. Customer states, I ran something over and it's making noise. Can you check that out for me? Um... Can't be real. This is a trash can lid. I hope you just did that for the TikTok. You know, I hope this isn't a real person, but what did I just say? People are dumb. So I wouldn't be surprised. This scene will always amaze me. He didn't recognize the Joker until he took off the mask. <laughs> That kind of ruins that movie for me. I love that movie too. A phenomenal role by Heath Ledger, but um, really, like you guys didn't catch this in post-production? Come on. This commentator is about to get fired. He's a guy transferring over from Vanderbilt. Nine months ago when he jumped in the portal, everybody wanted him. 11 years ago as a foster kid, really nobody wanted him. You could have left that last part off. Do a spin. What? Do a spin. Zee. You're wearing mom's pants. 
What? Those are moms. Oh god. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> Dude, it happens, man. I'm not even kidding you. Grade six. It's like when you know when uh, when young men start getting uh, tall or whatnot. You're kind of that same height as your mom. You kind of wear the same size jeans in that you know fifth to seventh grade range. It happens. It's a landmine that all boys that age have to maneuver. It's true. It's true. Did it? Yep. Yeah, had the, I did it one time. Sucks, man. Wait for it. What's gonna happen here? Jeez. Did that go into the wood? Oh, wow, there's uh, 300 bucks down the drain. Hopefully that wasn't a $500 driver. Hit the range. Make sure on the end, too, so you're not hitting anyone. Jeez. Who is your celebrity Otherwise? doppelganger? Use this filter and show me which celebrity you look like. $100 is Ratatouille. You gave me this chinless bastard? <laughs> right on. This chinless bastard? Pretty close. I was going to say, uh, yeah, that's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. Not bad. Everybody's so creative. See how that looks like we probably wasn't supposed to do that, but we did. There's no other reason you would do it that way. See how it looks like you probably wouldn't want to see that. But Not too sure I understand that one. I mean, is it the property line like through the middle of those trees or what's the deal here? It looks like crap for one. For two, you know, I never, never understood this though. Because I've seen places where the house is in the middle of the... The, the, sorry, the tree, they build around the tree, you know? And the how the tree is in the middle of the house. I've seen that a couple places. That tree's gonna die one day. It's gonna fall over and you're gonna have you're gonna have to rebuild everything pretty much. So I never really understood that. So this is crazy. My husband did an ancestry DNA test a while ago to like see where his family history is from. Someone that he matched with as a distant cousin posted this picture behind me as one of their old family photos and what i found to be so crazy is the woman in the picture looks almost identical to my mother-in-law his mother i haven't shown him yet but like look at this like like that's that's her like i like that's not even someone that just looks like her i know that's her oh it's terrible hopefully like, she doesn't see this huh that's crazy <laughs> <laughs> uh you must not like your family holidays with the in-laws jeez that's uh <laughs> it's terrible <laughs> when you over 40 you don't need an alarm your problems will wake you up right on time the cost of living <laughs> <laughs> everyone's losing sleep these days over that it'll wake you right up man double gliz in one bun is insane Oh, oh, I, I hate that name. I hate that word. It's so stupid. This is genius. Dude, they, they make the buns way too small or way too big. The proportions way off. And we all know the, the hot dog companies and the, the bun companies that have it in cahoots. You get a pack of five hot dogs, pack of eight buns, or vice versa. You get 10 hot dogs. You buy two packs or whatever. Then you got only eight buns. So you got to buy two packs of buns. Uh, you're always buying multiples of one or the other. That's why they're working together. They're trying to make you buy more. It's a fact. Everyone knows that. I can't make this shit up, guys. What? Stop. No, they're not. Duck. No. 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 Please drive off. Putting duct tape on a tire. Oh, she's like, Scott. <laughs> Look, times are hard. They're, they're hard for everyone. I don't know if that's going to work. I don't know if it's safe. I don't recommend it. You might just have to figure out how to put your spare on. You might have to be out without a car for a while until you can save up for a tire. You know, thousand bucks for four tires. Maybe you can find a deal online, get it cheaper. Don't do that. How would you do in today's video? Did you laugh at all? If you did, you lose, all right? And if you lost, you gotta make sure you watch on Sunday and test yourself again, where if you laugh, you lose, you do a punishment. Let me know how you did down in the comments. While you're down there, please like this video. Please help us get it recommended to others. That's it for today's video. Until next time, I'm Tyler Zed, and this is Education. For the children. Idiots.